Hi y'all, welcome back. So in this lesson, I wanna show you how I created this little design. And also I'm gonna show you how to create different iterations of the same thing, but in different colors. So without further much ado, let's jump right into this lesson. So the first thing that we are going to do is that we want to add a new layer and use that basically as our starting point. So I'm going to go down to my layers panel and I'm going to click on add new layer. And what I'm going to do is that I want to go to my foreground color. I'm going to double click and then choose a color of my choice. I'm going to go for a deeper, almost like um, a grayish blue color. I'm going to play around with this a little. And then I'm going to pick my paint bucket and I'm going to fill that in. We want to go ahead and reduce the opacity so we can see our subject as we cut out all the different areas for the design. I want to pick my shape. So I'm going to pick the rectangle with the rounded edge and I'm just going to draw. But before I do that, I want to change the color. So I'm going to flip the foreground to white and I'm going to click on the foreground color. I want almost like the honey mustard and I'm going to go for something like this. I'm going to click OK. And if you want the exact color is F9A203, I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to draw just a rectangle, just like this. And I want the rounded edges to be more smoother. So I want basically one big semicircle on both ends. So to do that, you want to come to your property and in your property, when you scroll down, you realize that there are these four options that allows you to change the size of each of your corner. Since we want everything to be even, I'm not going to unlock my radius values. Now, if you unlock this, when you change one, it will only affect that particular corner, but we want the change to affect all and we don't want to repeat it four times. So we want to keep this locked and I'm just going to change the first one. I'm going to make it a hundred pixel enter and we have a rounded edge. Now I want it to be a little bit more rounded. So I'm going to type in 120. Now we have exactly what we want. So now that we have this, we want to pick our move tool and I want to go ahead and rotate the shape like so. And I'm going to zoom out a little so we can scale this. So I'm going to hold one end. I'm going to double click to accept. And I'm going to hold one end and I'm just going to go ahead and scale it. I'm going to do the same thing for the other end. So I have something like this. I'm going to move this and set it somewhere here. So the next step is to take out the color in the shape. So to do that, you go to the top uh, bar and you want to click on your fill and we want to take out the color. So you click on this rectangle with the red stripe. So when you click on that, it will take out the color. And we want to make sure that our stroke is at zero pixel. So the next thing we want to do, we want to cut out this shape from our background. So to do that easily, you want to hold down your command and then click on the thumbnail of that layer. It will make a selection of your shape and then you want to click on the solid color veil that is beneath your shape and you want to pick your eraser. You are going to erase inside to reveal 
the image beneath. So I'm going to click on Command D to deselect. Now we are going to add a bit of a shadow effect on our shape. So I'm going to double click and then I'm going to go to the drop shadow and then I'm going to double click inside and we want to increase the distance a little. We want to change the size of the angle to, you can even type in 90, increase the size of our spread, but we want to take down the opacity so that our shadow effect is not too strong. I'm going to increase the spread a little. I'm going to take down the spread size and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click on my rectangle. We're going to make another copy. So I'm going to click uh, Command J to make a copy. And with my move tool, I'm going to move that over here like so. And what I want to do is I want to move the opposite side so we have something like this. Now, you really can see the other piece, but the only way to see it is if we hold down Command and we select the layer. So now we can see it. So what I want to do is to cut out this section as well so we can see the face of our subject. Now, I want to decrease the shape a little, so I'm going to press Command D to go back. So we want to go ahead and scale this down. So I'm going to hold down my Shift, and I'm just going to scale it down. Now, you want it to be proportional, so you want to hold down your Shift and then scale. If you have an older version, you wouldn't have to hold down Shift. It will automatically scale it proportionally for you. So now that we have this all set, we want to cut out this area. To select, we hold down Command and click on our layer and it's been selected. I want to shift this down a little. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to just move this down. So we have something like this. And I'm going to go to the layer that we want to cut out and I'm going to pick my eraser and I'm just going to go ahead and erase this portion. I'm going to press Command D to deselect. So we do have these two elements that have been cut out for us. If I go back to move my opacity all the way to 100, this is the look we have so far. So. Um, what I want to do is I want to change the background color. It's a little bit too dark for me. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead to click on my foreground and I'm going to change the color to like this, almost like a, a blue-ish with a tint of gray. And I'm going to click OK. Now, if I pick my paint bucket and I fill that in, you realize that it doesn't do a good job. So I'm going to press Command Z to go back. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on Command and click on that layer. And you realize that it selects all the other areas that are not cut out. So I can paint on this side and paint on that side. So if I'm not satisfied with the color, I can go back and choose another color. So just paint this here and paint that here. And now I've got the color that I want. So I'm going to press Command Z to go back. So I'm going to click on this shape and I'm going to click on Command J to make a copy. I'm going to move that and set it somewhere here. I'm going to go ahead and rescale it, holding down my Shift and I'm going to scale it very big. I'm going to move it down like so. And I'm going to click on Command and select it. And then with my eraser, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to the layer and just erase this portion as well. And I'm going to press Command D 
to deselect. Now, the last few things that I'm going to do are going to be basically the same shape, but I'm going to use the outline. So I'm going to go ahead and make another copy of what we already have in terms of this one. I'm going to press Command J, make a copy, move that to the top. I am going to basically click on my path selection tool that will activate my shape. I'm going to click on my stroke and I'm going to choose a yellow, a yellow mask that's similar to what is in her dress. And I'm going to change the pixel size. I'm going to make it like a five and I'm going to click out to see how it looks. So I want to scale this down. So I'm going to hold down my shift and I'm just going to scale this down and I'm going to move this and set it somewhere like so. And I'm going to come out of that. So we basically have something like this. So I want to make a copy of this outline. First of all, I'm going to click on this and reduce the pixel to three. Let's see how it looks. I like this. So I'm going to go ahead to make a copy, Command J to make a copy, and I'm going to move that over. And I'm going to set it right here for now. With my Move tool, I'm going to scale that down. And I'm going to move that and set that somewhere here. I'm going to go ahead and scale it a little bit more. And I'm going to move it right there. So I'm going to pick my path select tool. And I want to change this color to white. So I'm going to change the stroke color to white by just clicking on that. And I'm going to leave my pixels at the same thickness and we have something like this so I'm gonna select that layer and I'm gonna change that pixel to 2 I'm gonna come out of it so we have something like this I'm gonna make a duplicate so it's command J and then I'm going to set that somewhere here like so so now that we have this all set. I'm going to also go ahead and add a few other elements. I'm going to click on this top layer and make a duplicate command J. And this time I'm going to pick my path select tool and I want to fill this in with the honey mustard. And I'm going to go ahead to move it somewhere here. And then I'm going to pick my move tool and I'm going to scale that down holding my holding my shift I'm going to scale it down a little and I'm going to move that and set that in between this area and I'm going to come out of it but notice that there is a little outline I Originally didn't want to have that, but I'm going to leave it because it looks good. And I'm going to make another duplicate of this. So Command J, make a duplicate. I'm going to select that and I want to put it somewhere here. So I'm going to scale it down as well and set it right there. So we have this. Now for this one, I can choose to take off the outline but I actually like the way it looks so the other thing that we are going to do is to add some text to complete this little simple flyer or poster or whatever you choose to call it so I'm going to click on my text tool and I'm going to flip my foreground color so I have the honey mustard and I'm going to type in the white area so I'm going to click somewhere here I'm going to increase my font to 60 and I'm going to type in find
Now I want the bottom font, the bottom text to be the same color as my background. So I just flipped my foreground to pick that up. So we have this. Now I need to move this text so it aligns. So basically the statement is find your style, find yourself. And I'm just going to go ahead and rescale this a little bit more and set it right there. So what I'm going to show you is how you can have different iterations of this particular design on your image. So what we are going to do is first of all, go and unlock your image. And we want to click on that and click on the very top layer holding down your shift and we are going to create a group from that. So notice what happens if I click that off the visibility, you basically have just your background. Now that we have everything in a group, I want to go ahead and show you how you can create different iterations of this. With the group layer selected, you want to hold down shift alt command e and photoshop will generate one file for you so with this image if we go to image adjustment and we go to hue and saturation we can begin to play with the colors and we can change it up to whatever we want but notice that is not only affecting the colors but it's also affecting the color scan of our subject and we don't want that so I want to show you how you can do this without affecting the skin color so we're going to cancel out of this we're going to turn this off and we want to turn off the background layer so we only have all the different designs that we just created and we are going to click on that group layer. We're going to repeat the same thing. Shift Alt Command E. It will make one file for us. Now, this file only has just the image design and it doesn't have any background. So now we have the flexibility of just changing out this by going to image adjustment, choosing hue. And we can now begin to play with this completely and we can change it all up. We can choose whatever color we want. So we can do something like this, can move this back. Ooh, I love this. I'm gonna click okay and turn back on that. So, ooh, I love it. So you realize that you can change the design on your subject because the subject basically is now the background and you have all your design on top of it. So this can be one color option. We can create a duplicate of this layer, 10 of that one, and we can go back into our image adjustment hue and we can go ahead and change this too. We can do something like this. Or even that blue. Ooh, I love this. And we can increase the color. And this is all just basically playing with the hues, moving things around. I love this. This is so cool and nice. So guys, there are so many options. You're not bound to one thing. So you can just play with the different sliders till you get the effect. So this can be another option. So we basically started with this. If you turn that off, you have that. If you turn that off, you have this. So guys, this brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope that this was fun. And please go ahead, like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.